to an extent, we're going to talk now about the county commission. That is a dysfunctional bunch of wacko renos. Okay, here's the best quote from the Valentine. He says, "What we're going to do is we're going to fire this good administrator that we have, and we're going to bring in our buddy. We'll talk about that in a second, and then we're going to hunt for a world-class administrator. Are we going to bring one from Europe?" <laughs> what are you talking about? What person in their right mind would want to work for these people other than Grover? I mean, how in the world could you work for people who do this irrational stuff? It's just wacky. And, and, and Valentino saying, we're going to go find us a world-class administrator. Well, you had a real good one, and you fired him because he didn't do what you wanted him to do. That's a fact. It's, so. I'll read the comments. When, when Mr. Twart, I'm probably not pronouncing his name properly. Twart. Twart mm -hmm. was, was brought back. The comments in the newspaper <laughs> were just <laughs> off the page. And this was done by Kevin White, who's leaving, uh, uh, Mr. Valentino, and... Um, Commissioner Ro Robertson. No, right. yeah, not Grover. No, Grover no. and Marie Young Robertson. voted yeah. ro voted against it. Yeah. And if if you remember back, Mr. Twart resigned. Uh, there were and and I don't know how a thorough investigation would come out, but there were allegations. There was there was concern about ethical impropriety. A lot of it came out in the news journal, kind of double deal, and then kind of working both sides of the deal. And he resigned. And then he wanted some special deal where he could get his pension, and that was turned down. And then he ran for county commission, and he came in fourth. He, got, he and, had some votes. And he, oh, he had <laughs> some votes. And, okay. And now, when they've got an assistant administrator who could stay on and do a good job, they wouldn't have to pay him anymore till they hire somebody else, they bring in this gentleman at $130,000 a year plus benefits just in time to pass out the BP money. This is very scary. Red flag. What? Red flag. Why? Do not let any of them get a hold of the BP money. Oh. You have a really capable assistant and, administrator and course, up there. He's going to be there at least long enough to get his pension from the public. Now, let's take a, let's take a little vote. How many want to see this gentleman get more taxpayer money? Not me. Well, apparently the county commission does, so he can... Maybe it comes from the state, and that's somehow different. And, and you resign in the face of a threatened investigation and overt criticisms that you have conflicts of interest that have conflicted with your duty to your, to your job. So you leave, stay gone, so there's no reason for an investigation, it's over. He's already resigned. Then he comes back by popular demand because he'll make a, according to the Valentine, he'll make a soothing transition because the staff loves him. Oh. What? Valentine, who are you talking to? This is an outrage. What in the world are you doing? And you know, the, the Valentine said that ethics count above everything else, and he, he voted to kick him out before. But now wait, there's been a realignment. What do they say? <laughs> Politics made strange bedfellows. I, I, this, is, this is like, a, I don't know what kind of bed this is, but they're all in it. And well, just the public has the right to know. What are you doing, Mr. Valentino? What in the world are you doing? Can you give us some credi credible explanation for this conduct? And the fact that you have other people jumping up and applauding this and you're getting three votes, what kind of message do you think that sends to a bright young man or woman with a family thinking about coming here to be an county administrator when they see this kind of conduct and you fire Oliver for no reason at all. You fired Oliver. Never would tell us what reason you had. Just, you didn't get along because he wasn't kind of handling your stuff right. It's disgusting. The county is going backwards 100 miles an hour and the city's going forward about 50 miles an hour. So we got two think, things going on. I think on that's here. right. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, you, you can't top some of the things that happened in the, in the sordid history of the Escambia County Commission. This is, this is certainly not the worst, but, but in my view, it really stinks.